thank you and we bless you. We adore you and we glorify you because you are God. We thank you because you encouraged us in our inner man. When Moses died and you asked Joshua to step up, he was afraid. He was afraid because he was succeeding a great man. He looked at himself that he was empty. He doesn't have what Moses had. But Lord, you know him even before he was born. Hence you told him, don't be afraid. As I was with Moses, so I will be with you. Thank you because you never fail. You never falter. You never grow old. Father, Lord, we bless you. We committed our church to you and uh, committed myself to you this morning. We are your children. We want food from heaven. The children of Israel never ate stale food in the wilderness. You provided manna and you provided a new one every day. So, Father, we are waiting want you to feed us with your manner from above. We bless you because we know you have done this. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name. Amen. Um, the topic of my message this morning is knowing the time. We know time is changing, like I said. Uh, earlier on, before, uh, I mean, uh, at the opening, that the summer is passing away. Uh, sometimes ago, it was very, very hot. Uh, now, is it as hot as it was at that time? No. no. As the evening comes, it, it becomes cooler. Uh, time is changing. Uh, the Lord Jesus Christ was very mindful of time. Of course, he created the world. He made it right from the inception uh, God created time. Uh, in the book of Genesis, he said, uh, when he made, when he called the earth out from the waters, uh, and he started the creation, and he said the, for, the, the first day, I mean the, the evening and the night was what? The first day. So, God created time. And time is a very precious thing that he doesn't want us to waste. But incidentally, we human beings, we just take time for granted. We, we don't regard time so much. Uh, but time is very, very precious. The time that has passed away is like the water that has passed beneath the bridge. You cannot bring it back. It has gone has done for good. And we are going to return. God is going to ask us about every time you spend on this earth. The time you spent in, I mean, this morning preparing, part of it you probably wasted. And that's why you are here late. <laughs> <laughs> God is going to ask of you. And some, they ran and ran and ran to catch up with time. They were at work. They had to run helter skelter. They came and jumped into the shower and then jumped out, jumped into their clothing, jumped into the car and came to church. Nobody see all your jumping. But God sees it. If you are doing all this to save time, Time is very precious. You know, Jesus Christ was talking to the, uh, to the people. Uh, Peter was asking him, Lord, what you are talking, is it to the people or to us? He has forgotten in Mark chapter 13, the, the last verse. Jesus said, whatever I say to you, I say to all, watch. Let's uh, turn to where we read this morning, uh, Luke chapter 12. 
well. When I, when I read through, I was pondering on the, what the Lord Jesus Christ said about the Jews. I will read some verses up. Uh, chapter 12, verse 40, verse 54 through 56. I will read. When you see a cloud rising in the west, immediately you say, it's going to rain, and it does. And when the south wind blows, you say, it's going to be hot, and it is hypocrites. You know how to interpret the appearance of the earth and the sky. How is it that you don't know to interpret the present time? <coughs> Every time has its own significance. The Lord Jesus Christ, like I said, was very, very particular about time. He was particular about seasons. And he took note of the uh, Israelites that they were very watchful too, especially about nature around them. And so we are too today. We are very watchful about nature around us. Especially the meteorologists, the meteorologists, they've made it so simple. When we want to go out, we will say, oh, what, what is the weather? Oh, what, what, what do, what, is it going to rain? Am I to go with my umbrella? Or am I to leave my umbrella home? In Israel, if we look at the geography of Israel, the west side of Israel, is lined by the Mediterranean Sea. And uh, when, uh, when uh, the cloud rises from the Mediterranean Sea, the, the cloud may be even as small as a man's hand, as we saw when the prophet was asking his, uh, uh, his boy to go and do. And he said, I saw a cloud as small as a man's hand, and he knew it was going to rain. The cloud comes from the water that has uh, been evaporated from the Medita Mediterranean Sea and has been raised up. You, you geography students, you know this. And when the wet water goes up to a level, it, the, the wind cannot carry it anymore. Then it does work. It falls as rain. So, we know this, and the Israelites knew it, that when the, when the cloud is from the west, or the wind is blowing from the west, you say it will rain, and surely it will rain. But when, this, when the winds come from the south, the south, the southern side, part of Israel, if we look at the geography, is, is the Sahara, towards Africa. So when the, the, when the, uh, the, the wind is coming from there, they will say, oh, it's going to be hot. And surely, it will be hot. If you are so mindful that you can observe these times, and you can make predictions about them, and they come true, why are you not mindful of things of the Lord? The world is passing away, and all the, the, the my people will call it preferity. <laughs> All the, the pleasures in it, every one of them is passing away. But what will remain is the word of God. And are we mindful of it? West Chester. This is a challenge to us today. It's a practical challenge to me too. It is a challenge to our church. The time is far passing. We know the Lord Jesus Christ is coming. And he's coming very soon. And he cannot afford a hypocrite church. He wants us to be up and doing. I remember uh, in those days when we were growing, uh, our, our house was not far from the school. It was just a street that... Uh, that divides the house from the school. So, we felt 
we can sleep. We sleep longer than the other children who come from far away. Some come from 10 miles away, some from 5, some from 2. Uh, but we are just there. So we felt we could sleep. Then, when we are sleeping and we are enjoying the sleep, then my mommy will come and say, Joshua, 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 do you know the time? <laughs> oh, I know that when he says that, it's time to go to school. I will jump up, and when I look at the time, it, will be, it might be some just few minutes to go to school. I will rush and just jump into the 